The European Union is considering imposing sanctions on China for sending weapons for the first time. The EU reportedly has convincing evidence of the supplies, according to Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. According to the sources, the EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs, Josep Borrell, informed EU member states about the relevant intelligence data and called for decisive action. Borrell stated that the evidence was convincing and demonstrated the provision of lethal support to Russia. Now we must consider the full range of tools, including bans on doing business with Chinese companies, freezing assets and travel bans. But you also have to speak directly to China and make it clear. You have always said you want to remain neutral. You are not neutral. China is also not seeking peace. You are feeding the beast, he said. The news agency sources declined to elaborate on the intelligence findings. However, a senior diplomat referred to very serious reports from Reuters. At the end of September, the agency reported exclusively that a subsidiary of the Almaz Ante Russian state defense company called Kupol had developed and tested a new long-range combat drone in China and aimed to establish mass production there for use in the war against Ukraine. This involved the participation of Chinese experts, cooperation between China and Russia. China claims to maintain a supposedly neutral position regarding Russia's war against Ukraine. However, Chinese companies continue to supply Russia with dual-use goods. Officially, no transfer of Chinese weapons to Moscow has been recorded. Recently, Ukraine's Presidential Commissioner for Sanctions Policy, Vladislav Vasyuk, stated that about 60% of foreign components found in Russian weapons on the battlefield in Ukraine originate from China. Media reports have also indicated that the West possesses evidence of Chinese companies secretly supplying weapons to Russia. This could signal a significant escalation of Beijing's involvement in the war in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Fabian Hinz, a research fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, a defense think tank in London, said that if the Chinese government is aware of what is happening, it would be a significant development. If you look at what China is known to have delivered so far, it was mostly dual-use goods. What we haven't really seen, at least in the open source, are documented transfers of whole weapon systems, he said. Vladislav Vasyuk, Ukraine's presidential commissioner for sanctions policy, told Reuters that about 60% of foreign parts found in Russian weapons on the battlefield in Ukraine came from China. According to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, China is helping Russia prolong its war against Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky commented Friday on German Chancellor Scholz's phone call to Russian President Vladimir Putin. During his nightly video address, the Ukrainian leader described the phone conversation between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Scholz as a Pandora's box and warned that there will be no Minsk III. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz on Friday urged Russia to be willing to negotiate with Ukraine in his first call with President Putin in nearly two years. The Kremlin responded that Moscow was open to new talks and pointed to Putin's earlier proposal that Kiev should cede territory and back off its plans to join NATO. Government spokesman Stefan Hebestreit said Scholz condemned Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine during the call and called on Putin to end it by withdrawing troops that launched a full-scale invasion of the country in February 2022. That conflict reaches its 1,000-day mark next week. Kanzler Scholz said to me that he is going to Putin. The call of Olaf, in my opinion, is a screen of Pandora. Now there may be other conversations, other calls, just a lot of words. І це саме те, що Путін давно хоче. Йому вкрай важливо послабити його ізоляцію, ізоляцію Росії і вести перемовини, як звичайні перемовини, які не будуть нічим завершуватися, так як він десятиліттями робив. Це давало можливість Росії нічого не змінювати в своїй політиці, нічого не робити по суті. І якраз це і призвело до цієї війни. Розуміємо всі ці виклики зараз, знаємо, як діяти і хочемо попередити. Мінська-3 не буде. Нам потрібен реальний. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz condemned the war in Ukraine in a phone call Friday with Russian President Vladimir Putin, the German government said, in the first such conversation in two years. Government spokesman Stefan Hebestreit said Scholz condemned Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine during the call, 
and called on Putin to end it by withdrawing troops that invaded the country in February 2022. The Chancellor urged Russia to be willing to negotiate with Ukraine with the aim of achieving a just and lasting peace and stressed Germany's unwavering determination to support Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression for as long as necessary, Hebestreit said in a statement. Scholz had spoken beforehand with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, and would do so again after the call with Putin, the statement said. The German leader condemned Russian air raids on Ukrainian civilian infrastructure and warned that the deployment of North Korean troops to Russia to fight in the war against Ukraine would mark a serious escalation of the conflict. The United States, South Korea and Ukraine say North Korea has sent thousands of troops to Russia to support its war against Ukraine. The German government statement did not say how long the call with Putin lasted, but German news agency DPA said it was about one hour. The Russian government did not immediately have any comment about the call. The call comes as the conflict nears next Tuesday's 1,000-day mark since the February 24, 2022 invasion by Russian troops.